<laughs> Imagine yourself standing at your old middle school's library in Coney Island. You're about to teach a lesson on magic squares to a class of 80 eighth graders. And this is how it all begins. Hi, my name is Ahmed. And I'm Jason. And this is our math enrichment program we call Math, math Matters. Matters. <laughs> In Math Matters, we taught a variety of topics to middle school students, and we began with the Magic Squares lesson, and evolved towards lessons such as game theory, graph theory, and combinatorics. And through these lessons, we've developed a peer-to-peer -peer enrichment program from high school students to middle school students. And unfortunately, these topics and ideas are not taught in a traditional mathematics classroom in New York City middle schools. And that's where our peer-to-peer our -peer enrichment program comes in. So yes, our peer-to-peer -peer enrichment program is able to show these students topics they normally wouldn't learn. But it's also so much more than that. As high school students, we're also still learning all this material. So when we go back and teach these middle school students, we're learning just as much as they are. And this is very important because it makes the whole activity fun for everyone and engaging for everyone. And furthermore, to have high school students who know what life is like beyond middle school, go back and like talk to these students, we can show them that you don't just have to be a professional teacher to explain knowledge to someone, and that they can do it too if they have the passion for what they show. When we taught our first lesson, Magic Squares, we began with a three by three array of playing cards. And we told the students in this investigative activity that to make the rows, columns, and diagonals of the magic square equal to this magic constant. And together, we explored with these students and developed ideas for example, in the magic square, you can see this three by three array. But more than that, the students were able to discover ideas such as the magic constant equaling 15, and why five always had to be in the middle, and why the corners always had to be even numbers. And these are ideas that they wouldn't normally have developed in a normal math curriculum. And these are the effects of our math enrichment program. Another lesson we taught was on graph theory. Now, we began by giving the students probably the most famous problem in graph theory, the seven bridges of Konigsberg. Now, of course, this problem has no solution, but we didn't tell them that. After having them work it out in groups and try to solve this, even to the point of frustration, not the nice type of frustration, but <laughs> we went on to explain like, kind of the basics of graph theory, the definitions, the graphs, the visualizations. Then after that, we were able to give a more rigorous proof as to why this, had no solution, this problem had no solution, and why other problems in graph theory, and how to solve other problems in graph theory. When we taught game theory, we began with the same strategy of presenting a problem. And in this case, we taught them the idea of the prisoner's dilemma. And through this lesson, we were able to investigate certain situations and certain strategies. And some strategies involved having a dominant solution where one player had the upper hand no matter what case. And through these basic ideas of game theory, we were able to show students that you could take these basic strategies and apply them to games outside of school. And afterwards, we were able to inspire students to create their own games and to develop further ideas. When we began Math Matters, we originally started in October of 2011. And in January of 2013, we began to expand our program to five middle schools. And we also showed students that in mathematics in general, it's a creative endeavor. And we wanted to show this idea to middle school students in all different boroughs of the city. We began in Brooklyn, and we taught at five different middle schools. And we peer-to-peer -peer mentored our junior mathematics major at Brooklyn Tech. And in the mathematics major, we showed them to how to interact with younger students. And these are the middle schools. We taught at Mark Twain Intermediate School, Krista McAuliffe, Diker, Math and Science Exploratory School, and the William Alexander Middle School. So now, as Ahmed and I go off to college next year and further our careers, we can't help but be proud of what we created because this is a very interesting and informative organization. And now, and even though we are leaving, we still want to have a guiding, guidance, guiding role in it as it progresses. We have a, the junior math major, we've been working with them closely, and they're going to, we have a, a couple of students who will be able to take over and lead this program as we head off. And we want to see where this program can go. Like maybe we can expand to more schools in Brooklyn and even other boroughs and bring this whole idea of peer-to-peer -peer enrichment to a vast majority of New York City students. If you're interested in creating a mathematics enrichment program like Math Matters in your own middle school community, visit us at nycmathmatters.org. We want to continuously show students that mathematics is a beautiful, creative endeavor and that everyone can participate. 
No matter how old you are, mathematics is a beautiful study. So if you're interested, please visit our website and continue to expand math education. Thank, Thank you. you.